Suppose f of y equals 2y squared plus 2y minus 3. Here we're asked to evaluate f of 1 plus 2 times f of 3. This is different from problems we've faced in the past because previously we, just, we were just asked to find f of 1 or f of minus 5 or something like here. Here we've got an expression that involves two different f of something or other, so two different manifestations of this particular function and we're asked to evaluate an expression involving them. So the best way to go about this is to consider what this statement means. This is asking us, when it just says evaluate, it's asking us to find the value of f of 1. This is some numerical value, some number. So it's asking us to substitute this, this, this expression f of 1 for that actual number. And it's also asking us to find f of 3. That will be some other number. And when we substitute these two numbers in here, we'll just get something plus 2 times something else. And we can evaluate that expression, and that will be some number, and that will be the final answer. So in order to, to move forward, the first thing we should do is evaluate f of 1. So here, in, this, in a similar method to how we've done this before, whenever we see y in this equation, we're going to replace that y with 1, and then we're going to evaluate the expression. So here, f of 1 is going to be 2 times 1 squared, so we've got y squared, plus 2 times 1 minus 3. Well here, 2 times 1 squared, 1 squared is 1, 1 times 1 is 1, so 2 times 1 is 2. So you're going to have 2 plus 2 times 1, that's going to be 2, 2 plus 2 minus 3. Well 2 plus 2 is 4, minus 3 is 1. So here we've got f of 1 is equal to 1. Okay, let's now consider the value of f of 3. So let's evaluate f of 3. In the same way, whenever we see y up here, we're going to substitute that y value for the value 3. So we'll say 2 times 3 squared plus 2 times 3 minus 3. Let's evaluate this. So here we're going to get 2 times 3 squared, 3 times 3 is 9, plus 2 times 3, that's 6, minus 3. So here 2 times 9 is 18. So we're going to have 18 plus 6 minus 3. 18 plus 6 is 24, minus 3, that's 21. So we found that f of 3 is equal to 21. So, our, so what we've found so far is that it's asked us to evaluate this. So we can rewrite this expression as f of 1, and then we'll go back to yellow, and we'll say plus 2... 2 f of 3, that's, that's the same as saying 2 times f of 3. So 2 times, and we'll write f of 3 in pink, f of 3. Well, let's rewrite this expression. It's exactly the same as this expression here. Let's rewrite the expression, but instead of, instead of writing f of 1, let's write 1. Instead of writing f of 3, we'll write 3, since we've set, found these values here. So we can rewrite this. This is going to equal equal sign in yellow, then we'll do 1, and then have plus 2 times, and instead of writing f of 3, we're going to write 21. So this expression equals this expression, and we can simplify this. This is going to be the same as 1 plus 2 times 21, 2 times 21, that's, that's 42, so 1 plus 42, 1 plus 42 is 43. So our final answer here is going to be 43. That's, uh, that's, how, we evaluate, uh, that's how we evaluate an expression that has a couple of these f of somethings in them. What we do is we evaluate all of them to begin with and then we substitute them in and simplify. And we're done.